we uh, today we posted the jet thing talking. I think you reposted yeah, yeah. the clip. Do you care to weigh in on the uh, on the JS seven versus uh, Jetson thing? Where, where are you at with it? Ah, <laughs> because uh, you spent some time. Yeah. Like you've actually seen some. Shit. Yeah, I had, I had a fair bit of banter already on Instagram from that. So it was. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I really? Had, what was? I already the, had a few uh, a few mates. What was the with. feedback? Am I? Ah, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. They're like, I um, oh, just like where they're like two different obviously two complete different characters and then obviously it's hard it's same as like you know Carmichael as well there's already when you've got a name already there and yeah. you've got someone new coming in it's completely you know different they have to be different but you already had Stu who set the bar for the raw speed and the talent he had and for someone for the newcomer to come up and to show that it's like you're already going to get compared to him yeah there's not ever going to be another person who's another step above that because that was already next level by yeah. like 10 steps so yeah yeah i don't know like jet definitely his style and every how he makes everything look it's it's pretty special even witnessing it last year when i was you know there riding with him it was like yeah mental so it's cool to cool to watch you know all the different styles over the years and and um seeing him effort effortlessly ride that bike it's pretty cool and i'm sure he can go another step but he doesn't need to well like that's that's kind of the i think that's kind of like one of the points i was making the the funny thing too so that was from september of last year so that was kind of like before the new bike and stuff so i mean yeah this year obviously that that bike was pretty good like you got a bunch of hole shots and stuff like that but it's like you never even seen him like really have to push it like he kind of made one fuck up this year at that first triple crown yeah after that that's it he's either one or he pretty much cruised on the weekend because he was going to win the championship. But it's like, that's, I think, the point I was sort of making is like, the, we're seeing a dude that's this good hmm. and he's not even having to do the crazy shit like James nah. did. Could you imagine if Jet was allowed to just like <laughs> go out and throw down the way that he possibly could, you know? Yeah, if he wasn't being a p- and actually had a crack, then yeah, it would be something that's, to talk about. That's but what I'm saying. We don't. Go, son. <laughs> I know, I keep sending him a message to stop being a little p- cat and have a send but he's you know he's he's a bit smarter now so it's it's good to to see him do it but yeah same thing you actually watched him first round you're like dude he's just not even trying Mm -hmm. and um he's he is he's just that little one step up above everyone at the moment and um yeah like the last race for the championship for him to win when he got back on the back of faulkner it was just like he just literally played with his ass and just was like yeah. i'm just gonna back off like i don't care like the championship's mine so um but and then you see faulkner who, who won the race and he's happy about it like it's sick to see him come back but you look back at it and you like jet just you know played with me the whole time like it, yeah. I actually, like he just made you look stupid but, and, and the thing is like <laughs> he could you, do it just like that and make it happen and you watch faulkner and like mad respect i messaged him after the race and i was like i'm genuinely happy that he won because mm-hmm. it sucks like that crash to come together with jet it took him out of the whole year that's a lot of money that he's lost like it's contracts there's a lot at stake you know and you sort of never want to see a guy get taken out in that way like that's just a shitty racing deal you know so super happy for him but you watch the race and then you look at faulkner and you're like well he could crash like at any point in time yeah. you know you're like fucking looks he yeah. looks like he's really having to send it to go that speed and like you said you just see jet and he's sort of just cruising around and like has a crack and then goes oh no yeah yeah like, i know you, you watch him pull in the time and he's just like now nah, i'll back it off yeah. the crazy one was atlanta when he passed i'm trying to think who it was that he passed maybe it was shimoda Shim- one whoever it was you know that one of the that, ones where he crashed <laughs> his the, first turn first lap the, yeah oh, but he had idiot. the he went into the whoop section so whoever he passed I th- maybe it was shimoda fully in the whoops like rear tire all the way in the whoops jet not even in the whoops by the end of the whoop section oh mate still in the whoops mm. jet completely out of the yeah. whoops you're just like what the fuck mm. dude like how do you do that and i think too if he didn't crash when with faulkner remember how loose he was through the whoops like how did he save that like if he saves that makes that pass without crashing mm. everyone says that's a james stewart save yeah but one turn later he fucking crashes and mm. everyone thinks he's the biggest dickhead yeah. in the world 
Nah, he's all right. He's just a kid growing up, trying to make it in the big world. <laughs> uh, just have, have just a, another little Aussie having a crack. Yeah, eh? he is definitely a few of them having a crack these days. It's it's good to see. Did you did you see anything like being over there? You stayed there for a bit, and you were training at eighty three. Like, was there any moments where you were just like, "What the fuck"? When <laughs> when it comes to like his riding, ah. Oh. I like they were sort of away testing that new bike the first week when I was there and then um they come back and then yeah like just watching their riding styles completely different to um it was their Webb Bogle um a couple of the junior kids riding around um and uh yeah Savachi was there riding as well yeah. so yeah everyone had different styles so you're sort of looking at everyone and seeing it was cool to see how everyone trained in that differently and um yeah it was it was wicked but yeah nothing nothing crazy like wasn't they they're just there just punching their laps laps out end of the season you know um jet was you know in the championship hunt and um because it was still was outdoors still, then right? yeah, yeah 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 it was uh july august september yeah i was there did the old big three months there so it was, yeah it's pretty cool to uh to hang out there and yeah luckily enough got to ride at the 83 with all those guys it was it was definitely an experience and loved every second of it being there yeah so, so how did that whole experience come about just um i was meant to do the first two rounds of the world rally championship over in uh it was the first one was kazakhstan and then uh silkway rally and then yeah um then we'll test this new bike and then they pulled a test in august and for me to go home after silkway was mm, like two weeks in the in in the slammer and the quarantine and then it was like a week and a half <laughs> the out and then and then have to go back to america so i was like there's not even it's not worth it so for the amount of money it was going to cost for the team to send me back it was easier for them just to go all right fly fly to um america hang out there and then uh yeah and then we'll go to the test and then whatever else so i just ended up staying from then all the way until dakar this year so uh yeah it's just jh just hooked me up with truman there and then yeah truman said yeah i got a spot for me down at um um yeah florida down in uh down at the 83 down in uh what's a town called dade city yeah. so the old dade city that's good so it's yeah it's reedy's old compound there and yeah it was really cool just to roll up there and you know had a spot and it was in the garage or in the pits with um well in the garage there i guess they call it um with who was in there Savachi, Bogle, and Webb, and then my bike was just in a spare spot next to them all. And you're like, dude, you're just flying into this joint. There's just a stock as a rock gas just sitting there. <laughs> and then you got some valley guy rolling in. So yeah, I just come off COVID, first experience having COVID. So it was yeah, pretty mental. I flew straight to straight from Silkway to Frankfurt for a night, Frankfurt to Tallahassee, and yeah. then stayed at JHs went and did a workout with him in the morning I thought it was a bit of jet lag and then that was Friday then Saturday watched Southwick at Ricky's with his whole family there oh. and JH and I was just like and then we watched the UFC fight with McGregor where his leg got oh. snapped so that was that night and I was I was just remember there I was just dead on the that night and um, yeah I couldn't get out of bed the next Sunday so it was smash yeah yeah and I had fevers that night and then um, yeah just just sent it to bed the whole the whole next sunday and then we were planning to fly up to do one of the rch schools to yeah uh, where was that Redbud. yeah so that I, was, I got a fly to Redbud, and then they sorted a bike out for me to to go right up through there on a on a um enduro well enduro guys one of the teams that do gnccs lent me a bike for that weekend so that was really cool so i got to ride Redbud, but i tested You're monday and then flew Tuesday, got there that afternoon, tested positive. And oh. as soon as I saw that email come through, I lost my taste, smell. And I was like, we went out for dinner that night. Just rolled up to Red Bud, like tracks prep. Like, I'm like, I get to ride the one of the sickest tracks in America. And um, yeah, I was at dinner. I couldn't taste anything. And I'm like, shit, this is not good. And then, uh, yeah, I did the next day coaching, but I just isolated from everyone. I was like, yeah. I, 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 was like I just got to do right. I got to ride here yeah so um yeah i just rode around a bit and and uh died and then i stayed at jeff stanton's oh uh, sick. so because he was doing the school with us there. he's local to that yeah right? yeah. yeah he's um pure michigan boy so uh stayed at his joint he had i think he had four thousand acres or something just farming so 
he's like, you can stay here at the track or come out to the farm or go in a hotel. It's like, I'm coming to the farm, mate. So it was awesome because I hadn't been on tractors or anything for a few months leaving home. So sat on the farm and he had, they're all vaccinated there and that. And by then we didn't know you could catch it twice. So yeah, he was, he already caught it, was vaccinated. And then, yeah, just stayed with him and his family. And he, he didn't know me until two days before that. But obviously That's when you were JH and Ricky, like he's yeah. obviously a good kid. So we let him in and, yeah, I just did, I think we did bale and hay for a few days and it was just cruising around there and went on the bike, adventure bikes for a bit and just cycled every day, got out, got sun into me, good food and yeah, come away with it and I flew back to Florida then straight down to the track because yeah, I didn't want to give it to the riders down there either but then Coop had it that week after that so it was just like, and they didn't really care about it so Crazy. I didn't want to go down there because I was going to go there and Jet and Hunter all there and I was like, I did not want to give them this virus so at the end of the championship yeah and they're all sort of sitting there so yeah it was mega start to the old american tour